I'm Coach Ray, thank you for joining me today. So today I'm gonna to use two long sticks and one short stick, okay? So what we are gonna do, we're gonna get into some full body movements today. So we're gonna start from the feet and ankles. However, the warm up approach is gonna be a little bit different. And so we're gonna use a pad later on for some of the stretching and we may use a bench. I am gonna use a squat rack as if it's a door frame or whatever you may have available to you, something for you to push the stick up into, okay? And so I'm gonna start with my short stick today, okay? And so I'm gonna come inside here. This is gonna act as a door frame here, okay? And so what I wanna do, I wanna get set up with my normal, typical horse stance. I'm gonna place the stick into the top of the door frame here. I'm gonna use this as a way to generate tension going upwards, but what I'm also gonna do, or what this is gonna enforce, is gonna enforce that extension as we go through some of these drills here. So I'm gonna first start at the feet and ankles, okay? I'm gonna have my hands roughly about belly button height, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop into that horse stance, okay? Keep my pelvis stacked under the spine. I'm gonna drop the stick up into the top of the door frame, okay? About 20% tension. What I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna bring both heels up. Good, back down slowly. Good, back up again. Hold, back down slowly. Good, so what we're doing, we're changing that directional force of which we're generating tension. This is meant to keep us more upright. Gonna bring the heels up again. Back down slowly. Good, let's go a few more. Heels up. Make sure all five toes are in the ground here, okay? Heels back down slowly. Let's go two more. Heels up. Allow those knees to track forward. Pelvis is stacked under the spine. Back down slowly. Excellent. Let's go one more. Heels up. Don't let the level of your hips change. Good. Back down slowly. Excellent. Go ahead and relax for a second here. So now we're gonna get into the lateral shifts, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one foot at a time here, okay? So this makes it a little bit easier to balance doing it one foot at a time, okay? So we're gonna start with that right foot here. So I'm gonna lightly drop stick up 20%. We're gonna bring my right heel up. I'm gonna slightly shift my weight to the right just a little bit. Then I'm gonna start laterally shifting or bumping my heel left to right or right to left, okay? So we'll start with shifting that heel outwards. Okay, so you're on the pinky toe of the right foot. Good, now we're gonna shift that heel inwards on the big toe of the right foot. Keep Try to keep the heel up as high as you can here. Now we're gonna shift to the right. Pinky toe. Shift left towards the big toe. Okay, shift right. Pinky toe, shift left, big toe. One more time, shift right, pinky toe, good. Shift left, big toe, excellent. Back to center and down slow. Excellent, now we're gonna switch sides, okay? Same thing, we're gonna bring that left heel up. Okay, make sure you keep all five toes on the ground at the start. Now we're gonna shift that left heel out. So pinky toe should be in the ground here. The way should be shifted to pinky toe. Now we're gonna shift towards that big toe. Okay, shift that heel inwards. Good. Shift the heel out. Make sure you breathe. Okay, so driving that stick up into the top of the door frame. Now we're gonna shift that heel inwards. Good. Shift out. Should be on that pinky toe, that left foot here. Right foot stays grabbing the ground. Shift that heel inwards on the big toe. Good, shift that heel outward, the last one. Good, shift that heel inwards. Back to center and down slow. Excellent, good, okay. So now we're gonna get into some pelvic movement. Again, we're still gonna have the stick driving up into the top of the door frame, okay? 
And so what I'm gonna do, I still wanna be in that horse stance. Let's go ahead and switch our hands here. Still that belly button height, okay? We're gonna first start with posterior and anterior tilt here, okay? So I'm gonna keep my hands stacked. I'm gonna lightly push a stick up about 20% into the top of the door frame here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a posterior tilt. So I'm gonna tuck my pelvis in, squeeze my glutes, okay? As if I'm trying to tilt water out the back here, okay? Now I'm gonna tilt anteriorly, tilt the opposite way, feel those lower back muscles tighten. I'm still driving the stick up into the top of the, top of the door frame the entire time. Now I'm gonna posterior tuck, squeeze those glutes, make sure you're grabbing the ground with your feet. Good, tuck the opposite way, anterior tilt, feel those lower back tissues tighten. Make sure you're breathing here, it's really important. Do a posterior tilt, tuck in, squeeze those glutes. Good. Anterior tilt. Excellent hold. Let's go a couple more each way here. Do a posterior tilt, squeeze those glutes, feel those glutes tighten. Anterior tilt, those lower back tissues tighten. Last one, posterior tilt. Good, hold. Then do an anterior tilt. Those lower back tissues tighten here. And back to center and relax. Okay, take a second. So now we're gonna get into lateral tilt here, okay? It's about being one hip up at a time. Remember, it's just a string on one side pulling one side of the hip up as the other side drops here, okay? Hands are still in the same place, okay? Get back into that horse stance here. What I'm gonna do, I wanna start by getting a little bit of a posterior tilt. I don't wanna arch my back. I wanna keep my back as neutral as I possibly can here. Drive that stick up lightly, okay? I'm gonna bump my hip, hips up to the right. So left hip drops down towards the floor. Good. Now I'm gonna bump my hips to the left. Left glute tightens. Right hip drops towards the floor. Bump the hips to the right. Good. Bump the hips to the left. Good. Bump to the right again. Good. Bump to the left. Still driving the stick up into the wall, up into the top of the door, but don't forget that. Bump the hips to the right. Feel the right glute activate. Bump to the left. One last time. Bump to the right. Good, now bump to the left. Good, back to center and relax. Awesome, okay. So now we're gonna get into working on the T-spine, opening up that rotation here, okay? So I'm gonna use my two long sticks here, okay? If you do happen, happen to have them available. And so what I wanna do from here is I'm gonna get into a double hang. If you only have one stick, you can do a single arm hang, okay? And so I'm gonna start with my right foot forward here, okay? Take a pretty big split. And what I wanna do from here, I wanna top and do a rope uh, grip on the top of the sticks here. And I'm going to slowly drop that back knee down, okay, towards the floor. And I wanna squeeze that left glute. I wanna extend that back hip Okay, open up those anterior tissues on the left side. I'm gonna lightly push the sticks down into the floor, about 15 to 20% tension. And then I'm gonna start to slowly rotate side to side. So I'm gonna start by rotating to my right. Now I'm gonna rotate to my left, right, left, right, left, Last one, right and left. Back to center, good, come up. And now we're gonna switch sides, okay? So if you're only doing this on one stick, again, you have the side, uh, the leg that's forward, that's the side the stick is on here, okay? So what we're gonna do from here, get back into that same position, I'm gonna drop that back knee down, make sure I got a rope grip on the sticks here. Squeeze that right glute, extend that back hip, okay? Drive the sticks into the ground lightly, 15, 20% tension. 
Now I'm gonna rotate side to side. Rotate to the left, good, and then right. Left, right, left, right, last one, left, and right, back to center, good, and going to come up out of it, excellent, so we've got a little bit of the spine, okay, a little bit of the shoulder blades as well, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of single leg work just to kind of warm up here. So position the sticks wherever is typically uh, most comfortable in terms of width. Now the lining of the sticks is going to be roughly about a foot, 10 to 12 inches in front of the line of my toes here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I want to have my hand roughly about a nine degree elbow bend here, okay? Feet together. I'm going to start with my right foot on the floor, left hip is going to be up and active the entire time, so that left foot, the left hip never touches the ground, okay? So from here, arms are 90 degrees, I want to lightly drive those sticks into the floor, we're going to get into some single leg stuff here, right foot stays on the ground, plant it, right leg is straight, I want to bring that left hip up, okay? I'm going to go back into an RDL, and I'm going to drive that left heel straight back, I'm going to rotate both sticks to my left, okay, left hip follows, now I'm going to rotate to my right, okay, back to center, I'm going to come back up, good, I'm going to go back down into it again, so drive those sticks to the ground, extend those hands out, left heel goes back, Okay, rotate to the left, really trying to work on opening up the rotation on that right hip. Now I'm going to rotate to the right, so now I'm challenging that internal rotation on that right hip here. Oh. Back to center, and back up, good, one last time, drive that left heel straight back, rotate to the left. Get that external rotation on the right hip. Now I'm going to rotate to the right. Good. Back to center. Get that last tip up. And relax. Good. Now we're going to switch sides. So if it's hard to balance, you can move the base of the sticks farther outside. So create a wider base like so, so it makes it a little bit easier to balance. So I'm gonna to go to the same thing as I did on the other side. Both hands are at 90 degrees here, okay? Drive both sticks down, bring that right hip up, get that left leg straight, soft bend, drive that right heel back. I'm gonna to rotate to the right first. External rotation on that left leg. Now I'm gonna to rotate to my left. Get the internal rotation on the left hip. Good. Back to center. Bring that right hip up. Good. Let's go two more. Drive that right heel back. Rotate to the right. Good. Now to the left. Back to center, up, last one here, okay, drive that right heel back, good, rotate to the right, now left, good, back to center, and back up, and relax. Good. Okay, that concludes the warm up. So let's take a second here. And so, what now we're gonna do is we're gonna get into some dynamic movements here. So, we are gonna do something that's kind of similar to the bird dog, but we are gonna do it from a standing position, utilizing one stick here. Okay, we are gonna also get into some 9090s. And we're gonna get some fun stuff today. Okay, so for this, 
I'm going to place one of my long sticks down. If you have a short stick, you can use a short stick, whatever you have available to you. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to place one end of the stick here into uh, the bottom of the squat rack. So if you have uh, a wall to use, something stable for you to press the bottom of the stick against, that'd be perfect. So I'm going to have my outside hand gripping the end of the stick here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is my inside leg is gonna be the leg's gonna be firmly down here, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to first drive the stick into the corner of the wall here, okay? I'm gonna bring that left, uh, or the outside leg up, okay? Now I'm gonna go into a single leg RDO, but I'm gonna extend both my hip and my arm straight out, kind of like a bird dog. So I'm going to start to hinge. And I'm going to extend my right arm out, left hip back, hold. And I want to keep pressing the stick into the wall about 40 to 50%. Three, two, one, back up. And relax. Good, we're going to do two more. So the main thing is, is to not extend at that low back or extend at the back at all, is to keep the ribs connected to the hips here to challenge that core engagement, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna drive the stick into the wall first, okay? Bring that inside hip up. I'm going to extend my right arm and left leg back. Hold. Hold. Three, two, one, back up, and relax. Excellent, we're gonna go one more time here, okay? Same thing, feet are together. Try to stick into the wall first so that our force is going diagonally, going down, okay? Gonna bring that left hip up, or outside hip up. Going to extend my arm and hip back lengthening the spine as much as possible hold three two one back up and relax awesome now we're going to switch sides so one side is going to be a little easier or harder than the other so kind of let you know if you're having trouble stabilizing Drop your hands and legs, okay? It doesn't have to go straight back. It can kind of come down at an angle, makes it a little bit easier here. So we get set up in a safe position here. So outside hand is on the end of the stick. I'm gonna drive the stick down into the wall, okay? I'm gonna pick up that outside hip. Okay, now I'm gonna extend my inside arm out, outside hip back. Hold, three, two, one, back up, and relax. Awesome, we're gonna go two more here, okay? So same thing, drive a stick into the wall, 40%, bring that outside leg up, gonna extend that inside hand out, outside leg back, you should be feeling that right glute activate. You should be squeezed here. Core engaged. Three, two, one, back up. And relax. Excellent. I'm gonna go one last time here, okay? Same thing. Drive that stick into the wall, okay? Bring right inside hip up or outside hip up, extend, hold, hold, and three, two, one, back up, and relax, awesome, good, okay, a little bit of a different drill, a little bit of a different take, on the single leg RDL here, right? Kind of turned a little bit of a bird dog. 
And so now we're going to get into some 9090s. So we are going to use the corner of this wall, uh, uh, using the squat rack, but if you have a corner of a wall here, we can use this as a way to allow us to get into a little bit of a good position or better position when it comes to doing any 9090s. So I'm going to start with my right hip forward here. Okay. Now, left hip is back. If you can get to a 90-90 position, that's great, it's perfect. If you need to, you can always go into a shin box, which will be a little bit easier for you to maintain, okay? So I'm gonna get into a 90-90 position as best that I can, okay? First thing we do from here is I'm simply just gonna activate. I just wanna warm up the hips a little bit more in this position. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my right hand to prop me up, just be as upright as I can. I'm gonna drive both of my legs into the ground, okay? So I'm gonna push my front, my right knee into the floor, push my left knee into the floor. I'm gonna push about 50% tension. We're gonna hold for about eight seconds here. Three, two, one, and ease off. Let's go one more time. Drive those both legs into the floor. Drive that entire front leg and entire back leg into the floor here. And three, two, one, and ease off. Good. I'm gonna take one stick and we're gonna place it right at the corner here, okay? So this allows us to be in a little bit more of an upright position as we go into the 9090s because most people tend to drop out this way. So let's use a stick to maintain that position. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna hold the stick at, at a position where it's most comfortable for me. So I'm going to take a relatively wide grip here. And one thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to drive both legs into the ground 50%. I'm going to drive the stick into the wall about 50, 60%. Now I'm going to hinge forward. So driving both legs into the ground, hold. Three, two, one, back up. And ease off. Good, okay, we're gonna do a couple more here. Okay, so you should be feeling a really big activation on that right glute here, okay? Same thing, gonna drive both legs into the floor, drive the stick into the corner of the wall, and I'm gonna hinge forward. Arm straight, reaching out, hold. Three, two, one, back up, and ease off. Excellent, let's go one more time here, okay? Drive both legs into the floor, try to stick into the corner of the wall, hinge, hold, three, two, one, back up, excellent. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the stick and I'm gonna have the bottom of the stick angled to be right about in line with my hips here, okay? And so what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna use this to get up to this really, really tall position here. So stretching out those lateral tissues here, okay? Now I'm gonna do from this position is I'm gonna activate both hips by driving both hips to the ground here, okay? So keep the arm up straight and I'm gonna drive the stick into the wall. It'll drive both legs down, 60%. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good. Let's go through two more activations here on this side. Okay, we're gonna right hand up, drive that stick into the wall, drive both leg, legs into the floor. 60%, hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent, let's go one more time here. Okay. Right hand is up, drive the bottom of the stick into the floor and drive the legs into the floor, hold. And three, two, one, and ease off. And now we're gonna switch sides, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing, okay? We're gonna get set up, having a left leg forward or left hip forward, right hip is back. 
Okay, let's go through the same series of activations. Just kind of warm up the hips in this position here. Okay, left hand is down to prop up the tall as possible. Okay, let's get back a bit. All right, we're gonna activate, drive both legs into the ground, push, hold, three, two, one, ease off. Excellent. Let's go again. Okay. Drop both legs into the floor. Hold. Three, two, one. Good. Knees off. Excellent. I'm going to pick up the stick. Then I'm going to place it into the corner of the wall here. Try to do her about the same. Okay. So, do the same thing. I'm going to drive both legs into the floor, drive the stick into the wall, and then I'm going to hinge forward, keeping that pressure of pushing both legs into the floor here. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. Excellent. Okay. Good. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go two more here. Okay. Drive both legs into the floor, drive the stick into the wall, then hinge forward, try to go a little bit further if you can. Hold, three, two, one, back up, ease off. Excellent, let's go one more here. Arms straight, drive both legs into the floor, drive the stick into the floor, Hinge forward, try to get as far as you can. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up and ease off. Excellent. Okay, now so I'm going to realign the stick towards more in line with my hips. Okay. Let's get this out a little bit more. I'm going to grab the stick with my left hand. Bring it up overhead. I'm going to drive the stick into the wall. Drive both legs into the floor, 60%. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Good. We're going to go two more here. Okay. Bring it up overhead. Drive the stick into the wall. Drive both legs into the floor. 60%, hold. Three, two, one, ease off. Excellent. We're gonna do one more here, okay? Bring the stick up overhead. Drive the stick into the wall. Drive both legs into the floor, hold. Three, two, one, knees off, and relax. Good. And now we're going to do one last hip drill while we're on the floor here, okay? So we're going to work on some active hip flexion while also working on internal, external rotation here, okay? Right, we just did 90-90, so we got a little bit of that. But now we're going to put in the active hip flexion. So we're going to lay on the floor here. And there's a side profile. So what I want to do here, I want to make sure my back is flat to the floor. So I don't want my lower back to arch. I want to maintain contact with my entire back. So I'm going to roll my pelvis into a posterior position, kind of like how we did earlier, right? And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one hip at a time. So I'm going to have my arm straight, okay? The angle is going to depend on you and what you're comfortable with or what you can maintain. So I'm going to start from this angle here. I'm going to bring my right hip up and I'm going to drive that right knee up into the stick. Keep my ankle dorsiflex, arm straight. I want to hold. I want to be about 40 to 50 percent tension here. Good. Three, two, one. Back down. 
Excellent. We're going to switch sides here. So we're going to go back to doing the intermotor rotation here. We're going to bring that left knee up, meet the stick, drive that leg up into the stick, hold, ankle dorsiflex. Three, two, one, knees off. Excellent. So now we're going to switch over to the right side. Now we're going to add in ex internal external rotation. Okay. And so now we're going to keep the arm straight, bring that right knee up to meet the stick. I want to drive that knee up into the stick here. Okay. And now I'm going to internally rotate. So I'm going to try to rotate my foot outwards towards my right side. Hold, still driving that knee up, back to center, and ease off. Good, okay? Now for the external rotation part, you're gonna have to flatten out this left leg here, okay? So we're gonna bring that right knee up, meet the stick, we're gonna push. Now I'm gonna externally rotate, so I'm gonna try to rotate my foot across my midline or across my left leg here. So driving that knee up, good. Three, two, one, back to center, and down, knees off. Okay, so now we're gonna do combined internal external the rotation. Arm straight, bring the right knee up to meet the stick, then push. Now I'm gonna internally rotate, rotate away, rotate toward my right side, rotate my foot toward my right side, now I'm gonna rotate externally. Good, internal rotation. External, internal, external, back to center, and down. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to switch sides. So now I'm going to straighten out that right leg. Now I'm going to bring the left knee to meet the stick. Drive upwards. Okay, going to internally rotate. Still driving up. Good, and back to center, and relax. Good, okay. Now we're gonna do an external rotation, okay. Arm straight, bring that left knee up to meet the stick, push up, okay, about 50%. Now I'm gonna externally rotate. Three, two, one, back to center, and down. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing we're doing on the other side. We're going to combine those movements here. Okay. Arm straight. Bring that left knee up to meet the stick. Okay. Internal rotate. Externally rotate. Internal rotation. External rotation. Internal rotation. External rotation. Back to center, and ease off. Excellent, okay. So that concludes the strength training part. So we wanted to get in quite a bit of hip work today, right? So we got in some 1990s, got some single leg stuff, a little bit of bird dog, challenge that core a bit here. So now we're gonna get into some of the deep fascial stretching. So what I wanna do here is I'm actually going to use the rack, but I'm gonna use this as if it's a corner of the wall here. That's such something like an anchor, okay? And so, if you only have one stick, we can do this real one stick. And actually, I'll put one stick down to show as an example, okay? Just a little bit of one stick with this. So, what I'm gonna do from here is I'm actually gonna have the same leg that's, that the stick is on, or the same side the stick is on, that leg's gonna be forward here, okay? And so I'm gonna have my left leg, left hip forward, the left leg forward, left foot forward, right foot is back, I'm in a pretty big split here. What I'm gonna do is, now the stick should be able to rest on my shoulders here, that's how I know I'm in a pretty good position, okay? So, I'm gonna take my left hand, and I'm gonna place it up in a straight arm position from here, Excuse me. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to start to shift forward, OK? 
okay? I want to squeeze this right glute. And I'm going to start to keep leaning forward, leaning my torso forward, hinging forward, while moving the stick out. So I'm getting a stretch in that anterior part of my chest here, which I'll open up the shoulder, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to start to rotate and reach across with my right hand, adding in some rotation. Hold, three, two, one. Bring our right hand back, want to come out. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do two more here, okay? So, if you can, you can get up a little bit closer to get more of a stretch here, okay? Create a big split, okay? Arm starts up overhead. It's gonna be into a lunge. Just leave that right glute. Okay, it comes out to the side. You're stretching the chest. Now I wanna hit for a little bit more. Good. Right hand comes across, reaches, get that rotation. Hold. So three, two, one. Back to center and come out. Excellent. Now we're going to switch sides. And so for this, if you don't have that go with the big of a split in the hips, if you find that you're getting any hip pain or it's just too significant of a stretch, Remember to reduce that range of motion by bringing your feet closer in distance, okay? It's the same thing. Right foot is forward, left foot is back. Arm starts up overhead. I'm going to start to shift my knee forward, get a deep lunge, squeeze that left glute here. Right hand comes out to the side, still hinging forward, okay? Left arm comes across, reaches across the body. Get some of that rotation going. Hold. Three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Come out. Excellent. And relax. Okay, we're gonna go one more time here. Okay. Arm starts up overhead. Okay, get into that deep lunge position. Squeeze that left glute. Bring that right arm out, still hinge forward. Good, rotate, reach across with the left arm. Hold, three, two, one. Bring it back to center, come out, and excellent. Good, so creating a really, really big stretch in the anterior part of the hip, but we're also adding in some of those rotations, right? So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bow and arrow. However, we're gonna do a deep lunge bow and arrow. So this is gonna be just a little bit different than a standard lateral bow and arrow, okay? And so what I'm gonna do from here is gonna be really, really tricky for people to work with. So if you need to widen your base as we go into this, Please do so just to make sure that you can maintain that balance. Okay? So I'll start, I'll go from the side profile here, and I'll start with my right leg back, left leg is gonna be forward here. So we're gonna simply add in some of that rotation along with this bow and arrow here. Okay? So left hand is gonna be up over the top, with our thumb facing down towards the floor. The how you grip with the top hand is still gonna be the same. Okay? Now, the bottom of the stick is going to be angled out, or uh, it's gonna be about six inches from the line of the front of your toes here, okay? So you don't want it too close or behind because that can actually start to drastically change the stretch. And also, you wanna be reaching out. That's the main part of this is reaching out as you go into this. So, back, our right leg is back, okay? Left hand is up over the top, thumb facing down towards the floor. I'm gonna place my right hand right where the sticker is and a bump and the stick and the stick is in line with my right hip here. So I'm gonna place it where the sticker is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into a lunge position, okay? And I wanna keep this knee stacked over this ankle. I'm going to drive and extend that right hand out and push through. Still 
driving that right hand through, squeezing that right glute. You're gonna feel a really big stretch in those anterior lines. Pull. Three, two, one. Back up. Good. Okay, we're gonna rotate the stick just a little bit here, right? So we're not flexing it all in one way. I'm gonna do the same thing. Right hand is on a sticker, okay? Gonna get into a deep lunge. We're gonna drive that right hand out. Pull, squeeze that right glute. Three, two, one, back up. Excellent. Rotate the stick just a little bit more. If you're having trouble creating that bow effect on the stick, move the bottom of the stick out further, okay? It's the same thing. Place our right hand on the sticker. I'm going to drop it to that deep lunge, extend that right hand out. Pull. Three, two, one, back up. Excellent, now I'm gonna switch sides, okay? You're getting a lot of tissue getting into your sling system going here, getting a little bit of a stretch in those. Still getting a viral tissues here too. But wherever you're tight is gonna manifest here, right? So right leg is forward, then a rose with a big split or whatever's most comfortable for you. Six about six inches in line in front of the line of my toes here. Okay. Right hand is up, thumb facing down towards the floor. Okay. Left hand is on a sticker, and I'm going to get into that deep lunge, and I'm going to drive that left hand out. Hold, squeezing that left loop, keeping that line of tension. Good. Three, two, one. Knees off. Excellent. Rotate that stick a little bit here. Okay. Going to go two more. Good. Get into that deep lunge. Squeeze that left glute. Extend that left hand out. Hold. Three, two, one. Back up. Excellent. Let's go one more time here. Rotate the stick a bit. Good. Rip the stick. Drop it to that deep lunge. Squeeze that left glute. Extend that left hand out. Hold. And three, two, one. Back up. Excellent. Good. So now we're going to finish off with a little bit of snake and reach. Okay, just trying to open up a lot of those anterior tissues in the chest and the shoulders here. Okay. So I'm going to have my right knee down to start. Okay. And so this is, again, this is one of those stretches or one of those drills where manage the amount of stretch there is, right? Shouldn't it be a super crazy significant stretch? It shouldn't be painful. If it is pain, painful, we'll start with actually a regression and slowly kind of work our way in here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my left foot pretty far out, okay? The further out, the less of a stretch there is. So I'm going to take my right hand, or the bottom of the stick is going to be right inside of my left thigh here, about mid-thigh. I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to reach up over the top, thumb facing down toward the floor. I want to have it right above where my head is here, okay? I'm going to snake my left shoulder through, grab the bottom with my left hand. If this is a pretty good stretch for you here, hold this position for about a good 10 to 15 seconds. If you want a bigger stretch, you can reach up towards the top. I like to wrap my hand around the stick like so. Okay, so thumbless. Hold, breathe. Okay, I'm gonna work my hand back down. Good, and I'm gonna slowly come out of it. Excellent. I'm gonna go back into it again, but now I'm gonna move that leg in a little bit closer here. So almost to be in line with the front of my body. So same thing. Thumb facing down toward the floor. Snake that left shoulder through. Try to get it under the scapula on the left side. Now I'm gonna reach up with my right hand. Okay. Good, so you should be feeling the shoulders and chest and rib cage area open up here. Okay. 
Hold. Good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to wiggle this left foot in as I slowly, really in small increments, move the bottom of the stick across my body or across my midline. And I want to keep my hips facing forward here. Okay. Now I'm going to get a really, a pretty big increase on the stretch. Again, if this is too much, remember to back off. Move the bottom of the stick towards that left foot, uh, left foot here. Good. Now I'm going to actually start to shift the bottom of the stick towards my left foot. I'm going to crawl my hands down the stick. I'm going to slowly work my way out. Good. Now we're going to switch sides here. Okay. So this is really one of those stretches you have to be very, very careful on, okay? So I'm gonna have the same setup, I'm gonna do the same exact steps here. I'm gonna have the stick on the inside of my right mid, uh, right leg here. Left hand is up, thumb facing down towards the floor. Snake my right arm through, try to get it under my scapula, okay? Good crawl, let's my left hand up, okay? Go to hold this position here. Breathe. Good, I'm gonna walk my left hand back down. I'm gonna release my right shoulder through. Excellent, now I'm gonna move in a little closer, okay? Bottom of the stick, same position, okay? Left hand is up overhead, thumb facing down towards the floor. Snake that right shoulder through, get it back. Okay, reach down towards the bottom of the stick. Walk that left hand up. Okay, you can start to slowly move the bottom of the stick further across that midline if you can handle the stretch. Okay, hold, try to keep those hips facing forward. Breathe. Three, two, one. Move the bottom of the stick towards the right foot here. Walk that left hand back down. Good. Snake your way out slowly. Excellent. All right. So that concludes today's stick mobility class. Thank you again for joining me. I hope everybody had a great time, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a good day.